guys and welcome back to another episode of Rebuilding Wimbledon. If we could get 400 likes on this video, if you are still enjoying the series, please smash the like button. That would be magnificent. Now, enjoy some highlights of the games that we've played over the past, well, it's been, I think it's been probably even more than a month now, as we're sort of coming up close to Christmas. And then I'll join you guys in a sec to talk about some stuff and of course show you the Wigan game. So I'll see you guys soon. Let's so drop that inside for Fabio. Fabio needs to find a pass. Can he slip on through? He can. Loveridge is in. Get, oh my god, we've managed to score with our first shot. It's happened. A little bit lucky. Norwich City nil. Wimbledon won. James Loveridge with the goal. Massive goal that could be. Kavarik to get a free kick in. A rare chance for us to attack. Fabio's across here and he's bloody scored. We have been the ultimate smash and grab merchants. Norwich City nil. Wimbledon 2. Fabio with the goal from a free kick. Incredible. Dragomir steps up and it is 1-2. City are back in the game now. Vlad Dragomir. Didn't look like a penalty. It looked like it occurred outside the D. But there you go. And there we go. Norwich City 1. Wimbledon 2. They were definitely the better side on the game. But then, you know, swings and roundabouts, I suppose. Now with his back to goal, he's got support though. One of them is Savile. Bit of space for him, maybe he can slip it through. Fabio can turn, goes for goal and he's scored. Wimbledon 1, Leeds United 0. Fabio with his third of the season could push us back up into 8th spot. And that's a good, good goal. As Steven, somebody get a foot in. Oh my days, that's a really poor goal to concede. Not because of the cross, but the fact that there's two players and neither of them stopped him. Really shitty goal. Franken's free kick comes through for Reeves. Reeves has put it over the line. Wimbledon 2, Leeds United 1. Jake Reeves, lovely work free kick to be fair. 2-1. Wimbledon 2, Leeds 1. That last minute save from Bachman just won us that match. Win oh crap, we've just been completely done by one ball over the top. Winnell's through and Winnell's scored. I don't know what happened to happen there. Three players went for one ball and it left us completely exposed. Wimbledon 1, uh, Wimbledon 0, Barnsley 1. Yeah, Wimbledon 0, Barnsley 1. The Norwich game was the swing. This was the roundabout. It goes short for Franklin. Can he pull it back across for someone? Goes in short for Reeves. Reeves with the goal inside 12 minutes. And we lead away at second from bottom, Sheffield United. A good result this would be. My God. Pereira with the cross. Oh, Kerr's header. And we've conceded another from a corner. We've been so good today. And to concede that, that is a real disappointment. Ryan Kerr for Sheffield United. Pereira with the free kick. Whipped in. Oh, for God's sake, guys. We've been the better team. And now we're 2-1 down at the second bottom club. Another bloody free kick goal. Shocker, really. Here we go, 2-1 Sheffield United. I'm a bit annoyed that we've lost that, really. We were the better side on the night, and they've scored two set pieces, and they've buggered us, basically. Listen, we're sorting ourselves out a little bit now. Savile with space in front of him to slip one through. Finds Fabio. Fabio's in, and Fabio scored. Lovely bit of play. Wolves nil. Wimbledon won. Fabio with his fourth of the season. Good stuff from the lad. Ease. Goes to Kinsella out wide. Can we get across in? Murphy! Murphy on the rebound, and it is 2-0 at Molyneux, and it is Colin Murphy finally getting himself another goal. He's been really poor lately, but a good goal for him. Backman, for some reason, taking the free kick. Murphy through. I don't... Why is the goalkeeper taking the free kick? I don't know what's happened there, but Wolves... Well, they're 3-0 down to us, but why... The, I want to figure out why the hell Backman was taking the free kick. There we go. Wolves nil, Wimbledon 3. Fantastic away performance, but what on earth was that? Right, guys, we're back, and as you can see, we are in ninth place, which is fairly decent to be honest we've won a few games this month we've lost a couple of games it's been a bit hit and miss but some good results um across the board really that I mean, the poor one for me was the defeat against sheffield united i think we should have won there probably but hey you know swings and roundabouts and all that jazz so we're gonna do a question today uh let's see what tv shows are you currently watching i assume this kind of backs on from when i said that that was like a hobby of mine i suppose it i suppose it's a hobby i guess um at the moment i mostly watch like a lot of american tv um just because i don't know i just prefer the way that there's more of it if you want to you know you can binge on it for much longer periods whereas britain is like six episodes and then you're done um at the moment like i'm t talking about shows that are like currently airing not like you know so breaking bad i'm still gonna watch that i'm still working my way through it but that's that's long ago at the moment it's things like uh blind spot limitless castle uh, brooklyn 99 um, Rosewood, Code Black, which is really, really good. And I think that's on Watch in the UK now, so that's definitely one to check out. Um, there's a few more as well, but I can't remember any more off the top of my head. Oh, Quantico, that's good too. Um, what, are you, what are you guys watching at the moment? Uh, let me know in the comments. It doesn't have to be American, just anything. Any, what are you watching? Hey, if it's in a foreign language, then awesome. Um, I really enjoyed The Bridge. That was good. Um, so, let's get into some stuff then. So yeah, basically, we're ninth in the league. And if you do have any ideas for a question of the day, of course, drop those in the comments too with the hashtag QOTD. Um, now, Jake Reeves is actually the best performing player in the league, but another thing I want to point out, Mark Bright Albright has got 14 assists in 19 matches for Leicester. Crap on a bed. That is just incredible. Um, it's outrageously good, basically. And the fact is, we're still only four points off the playoffs, which is decent, frankly, and we're 11 points clear of the relegation zone. So what I think we're sort of solidifying ourselves in mid-table. This month, in terms of sort of, you know, results, it's been a lot of well, been a lot of wins and losses, basically. So we started off with two good wins. Away at Norwich was a superb victory, and it was a proper smash and grab job. And then at home to Leeds, we were very, very good. Fabio and Jake Reeves were superb. Against Barnsley, 
we probably should have won that game, but we ended up losing it. Barnsley were good. Hey, they're a good side. Then we went to Sheffield United. That was a disappointing result. But then to go to th Wolves and win 3 0, uh, including the goal that was assisted by my goalkeeper taking the free kick, I thought, shit, did I accidentally put him on free kicks? No. Just to show you, I did not do that. It definitely did not happen. Set piece takers. Daniel Bachman is he's quite decent at free kicks, as you can see. I had a little look here, but he's not listed to take them. And as far as I can tell, we had players like these guys on the pitch. Jake Reeves, I'm fairly certain, was still on the pitch. I don't know what happened. Um, very, very bizarre. I hope that doesn't happen again, because that could cost us an absolute nightmare of a result. Point is, though, a 3-0 win away at Wolves with two goals for Colin Murphy and one for Fabio. It's great to have him in good form. Taylor is back, um, just. But I don't know if I'm actually going to actually start him in today's game. Uh, it's more likely that he's probably just going to, yeah, relax for a little bit. Now, Wigan are hovering just above the relegation zone. Luton are looking down down and out basically Derby County are not doing well Leicester are walking away with this division at the moment as you would expect now thing is we're only four points off the playoffs but we're actually only five points off the automatic places because of Blackburn so it's still very very tight out there and you just never know but I, my aim this year is a nice solid mid-table finish try to bring in a few more players I was scouting a guy from Brazil called Marquinhos who I might even be able to show you actually where is he uh, actually it might be a little bit longer ago than that um Basically, we didn't get him. Uh, he went and signed for Milan, um, but he was a four-star rated player, so I was kind of interested in that. And they turned down a bit of 800,000. Uh, obviously, it was in total. It was like 200 up front, and then a load more when we got promoted. Obviously, I can understand that. But they only accepted a bit of 100k from AC Milan, which was really disappointing, but it's Milan, I suppose. Um, they rejected our bid outright. That's the thing, though. Um, but there you go. So, getting into the game today, uh, I don't think I actually picked the team, so we'll just quickly do that before I end up... Oh, actually, I need to show you the squad, what we're talking about. Um, so top goal scorer so far is actually Colin Murphy with eight, amazingly, in only 12 starts. So still very decent. Uh, Loveridge and Taylor are in there as well. Assist-wise, it's obviously Frankham. Man of the match awards is Frankham again. Uh, last five matches, Jake Reeves, stonking performances. Johnny Byrne is back and is showing what he means to us, basically, in his return. So we're going to do a quick pick here. Um, I personally am certainly not doing that. Frankham's definitely fit enough to play and i'm thinking murphy instead of taylor because he's not got the match fitness back we'll get him on as a sub later um so we're gonna go with murphy fabio kovatic savile reeves frankham kinsella burn anderson and once again no um and backman there of course uh but yeah it's great to have johnny burn back and he has really made an impact on his return i think it's made a huge uh, difference having him and anderson in that spot so let's just quickly turn off the uh sorry turn on oh hello didn't mean to click on blackburn there uh, let's quickly turn on the replays and jump straight into today's game against Wigan Athletic. Now, they're playing a 4-4-2. I'm fairly confident against a 4-4-2 that we should be able to come up with a good result here. And a good result which could move us potentially closer towards those playoff spots and keeps our heads nicely above water and nicely away from those relegation places. And I don't think we're ever going to be troubled by that this year, frankly. Um, one thing I did make a change for, I think I can't remember which game it was in. I put Fabio as the false nine again, and it worked quite nicely. I think in games where he's playing poorly and we're not getting the ball up to those guys enough, dropping him back into that false nine role might be a sort of... A a plan B uh, when things aren't going so well. I can't. I think it might have been in the Wolves game that we did it. And my God, did it work? I think it was the Wolves game. I can't actually remember. I'm, I think it must have been basically Savile now, because Fabio would have dropped slightly deeper there. Because if it through for Murphy, he's onside, and it's a great save from Lewis in goal there for Wimbledon. That could have been one nil already, and it could have been another goal for Murphy. Johnny Burns gone through the back there. But yeah, one thing I also wanted to mention is the fact that I think I mentioned this in uh, my Wales save. But I don't think I actually mentioned it in this, even though this was to do with this save is that i will accept a national team job in this save but it will be as a separate series that runs concurrently so um but the only national team job i'll be accepting is the usa job because i thought it'd be a little bit different if we went and managed the united states during this save but what would happen is they'd be separate episodes and i'd basically build up the highlights for the games like i did with wales uh, but i'd be doing that during the wimbledon ones but you just wouldn't see it all the time so then every sort of year or six months or so you'd get an episode but it would be on the same day so it would be a double upload day at random basically that's uh, what I intend to do um, with that basically I don't know what the series it will be a little series that runs alongside uh, but will be featuring the same sort of universe so to speak as this one Cottrell whips it in now please don't concede another one from a free kick um, that's been a real problem for us we've conceded a few more from corners Cottrell's through and that's a goal 1-0 uh, to Wigan not the best start. We've been the better side by an absolute mile so far, but we have fallen behind, and hopefully that isn't the start of something terrible because that was really unfortunate. But again, with the free kicks, it's either either they'll whip it in and we'll score straight. They'll score straight away, or we can see from the second phase. Basically, we don't seem to be able to get back in position quick enough. Great ball from Pierce, have to say. Cottrell with a good first touch. Goalkeeper's in yoga pants again with his brightly coloured boots and gloves. I don't know what he's doing, um, but it is unfortunately one 0 to Wigan. That's a piss poor start um, when you consider how well we played. Frankham, surely not. Oh, no, of course not. Uh, what would it be if we actually scored a free kick? That would be 
outrageous. I mean, Frankham's got, you know, 12 for free kicks. It's not superb, but it's decent. You'd think he'd have got at least one for us over three years, but that, that's FM for you, isn't it? Uh, this year, they do seem to be completely underpowered. Um, I feel they were a little bit overpowered, perhaps, last year, but mm, I've seen two since we've been playing this uh, save, and both of them have been against us, and both of them have been in the last couple of episodes, actually. Uh, so, Wimbledon... Oh, crap, what am I doing? I should have absolutely ripped into them there. I was just... For some reason, I just assumed we were winning, and I don't know why I thought that. Right, let's take a little gander at the uh, the stats very, very quickly here. We're going to... They made a load of key passes. Six. 28, 9, 54, 28. Mm, 28, I suppose, might be one to take a look at. Let's just see. Who is 28? Ooh, left back. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's take a little look. Emir Hughes. Decent pass completion. Um, how can they both have the first... I don't get that. How can they all have... Is that in the league or something? Because I, I don't get that. Uh, I don't understand what that means. Because um, they can't all have the best pass completion in their team. So, Mackay... Will Griggs completed a lot of passes. And we are going to just get in a bit tighter on him. Um, ooh, yeah, actually, we will go a bit tighter. Hughes I used to use as more of a box-to-box -box player. So, I'm going to guess that um, McCann is more of their pass man. Um, actually, wait. Yeah, he's got a few more tackles, and he does dribble a bit more, so we're going to close him down and tackle him a bit harder as well. I don't know. That's the best thing I can come up with. They've not been the better side, and we are losing to them, and that's a bit piss poor. We've been very hit and miss this month. Like, we've been losing... Like, we lost against Barnsley, and I thought we should have won that game. And we lost against Sheffield United, and we probably should have won that game. But then we also beat Norwich, and I don't think we should have won that game. And against Wolves, we weren't superb, but we won 3-0. It's very odd. Um, it's been a bit backwards. Welcome to Topsy Turvyland. Population us. Reeves, can you slip it through, maybe? He's going to shoot. Uh, they always do it. Oh! <laughs> when they shoot me across like that, you know they're going to shoot, and there's nothing you can do about it, which is frustrating. Um, Lyle Taylor is going to come on soon, because, unfortunately, he's been so bad today. Fabio! Oh! Go on, Murphy! Oh, Colin, that was the chance. That was the chance. Right, in fact, just because he's missed that, he's clearly not in... He's looking frustrated. We're going to get him off and get Lyle Taylor on. Hey, who knows? Maybe Lyle Taylor. I'm also going to get Shenton on for Jake Reeves, uh, because he's not been good today. But yeah, maybe getting Lyle Taylor on for a little bit could make all the difference in this game. That's what I'm hoping. You know, maybe score on his return. Fabio, slip it through for Murphy again. Saved by Lewis. How are we losing this match? Um, this is a really bad one, actually. Against Sheffield United, we were good, but they had some good chances late on in that game. Um, but this one, we've been vastly the better side and we really should have scored. Shenton now. Saville. That's poor. That's really poor. I think we can... I think there's still a win in this game. I'm actually going to turn it... Oh, no, wrong button. I'm actually going to switch it up to attacking um, already because I feel like we've got control of this match. We've got possession. I'm actually going to up the tempo as well to normal and we're going to close down much more to really put that press on them and try and exert some of that in theory, a superior play. Uh, in theory. In theory, superior play. That's the idea, anyway. Uh, we're winning a lot of headers. Interestingly, Lewis and Seller's winning a lot of headers considering he's a fullback. Um, Aaron Lewis is winning quite a few tackles. Uh, must be their other... All right. How are we losing this game? Um, I'm going to tell them to push forward. They're looking frustrated. Right. Actually, I'm going to tell them to calm down. I I'd be a bit annoyed if we lost this one because we've been the better team in every in every conceivable way except the one that matters, which is on the scoreline. But we should be doing better than this. We really should. Um, let's shoot on sight and look for the overlap. Get these fullbacks forward a little bit more. Take a few more risks as well while we're here and get stuck in a bit more. Just try and do something. If we lose this, I'd be a bit pissed off, frankly, because we've... I don't think we've deserved to lose it. But if you lose, you lose, you know. Um, oh, don't let them score another one. That would be an absolute piss take. We need to get the ball off them, and there's a lot of space they're going to score here. He's just going to slip this through and score. What a save. Oh. Well, you know, when it isn't going for you, it's not going for you. When you're losing games like this, I don't know. It's all been backwards. You know, we're winning games we shouldn't be winning, and we're losing games we should be winning. I mean, great save initially. Okay, no, 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 no. Did that just hit nothing and bounce straight back to him? Because I'm pretty certain the goalkeeper was on the floor and it's bounced off of nothing and bounced back to the guy. Disappointing. Not quite what the fuck was that worthy, but I'm a little bit disappointed in the result overall, to be honest. A 2-0 defeat at home to Wigan is piss poor. The whole... That's probably a goal as well. Um, that is unacceptable. Really disappointed in the result all around there. We were bad on the night in terms of in front of goal, but we still should have done enough. Ah, oh, dear. It's going to be one of those seasons, I think, where... It, we're going to have results like this and then we'll, you know, we could go away and win like 4-0 at Leicester in the next match. We won't, but that's my point. It just seems to be very topsy-turvy. And that's the championship for you, isn't it? Actually, it would be Blackburn and we'll probably go and win that game now. Um, we need to be a bit more consistent. But then again, I still think we're exceeding well above what we should be doing. You know, the board expected us to fight bravely against relegation and here we are like 
nine points, no, 11 points clear of it still. So I think we're doing a very, very good job so far. So I don't think there's too many negatives. Yeah, I'm sure there are little things we could change, but the point is I think we're getting about as much out of them at the moment as we physically can. And that's a good thing. I think that the, the improvements need to be made. Now, the tactic is solid. The way we're playing is solid. The improvements that now need to be made is players. And that's going to take me a couple of years because I'm going to have to bring these guys in slowly and integrate them into the squad and slowly start phasing out players. The way I'm going to look in January for a right back because Barry Fuller, I, I like the guy. I really do. But I just think he's a League 2 right back. And I mean... Two stars is still not that bad, but I prefer a sort of three or four star right back, frankly, just to give us that. I mean, he still plays okay, but he is clearly the weak link in that defense if you look at it. So that's something we do need to look at in future. So in the next episode, I'm thinking, I'm thinking Ipswich away, maybe. Uh, Blackburn, Rotherham and Derby. So Blackburn away is going to be tough, but we've got Rotherham at home, Derby away, Luton away and Bristol City. So we've got three really winnable games in there, I hope. But you just never know. We'll probably lose all those and win away at Blackburn. But there you go. If you have enjoyed this episode, guys, please do drop a like on the video. That would be fantastic. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in your inbox every single day at 7 o'clock. And I'll see you guys later, uh, or tomorrow rather, for another episode of this, of course, where we'll be playing against uh, Ipswich Town. Hopefully we'll do a double upload weekend this weekend as well, because they are bloody fun. And I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.